All right, so this is the Western Digital Red Pro hard drive. It's uh, four terabytes. And um, this is one of the hard drives I used in my build. Um, I also used an SSD for the operating system. Now, the, the reason I picked this is basically just I wanted um, I wanted to use this for large cheap storage that would be used to keep things like archives of huge collections of old photos and stuff like that just tons of stuff that's just, just going to be stored there and, and kept safe and not accessed all the time it's not going to run programs it's not going to run the OS and it's it doesn't have to be super fast it's not necessarily going to be running we're not going to be like accessing or running games from it or anything like that so speed wasn't a concern and we just wanted something big we wanted large cheap storage and we didn't want to have to worry about running out or adding a new drive anytime too soon so this would be more than sufficient for what we needed so uh this is what we picked and uh i'm happy with the choice i think this is the right choice to go with it was a high high quality drive for what it is um if you want something slow and, and large and uh, you know, great ratings and all of that. That's that's kind of why I picked this. Um, yes, yeah, so that that's why I picked this part specifically. All right. So the main features on this are going to be that it's an internal drive. Um, also, SATA three, uh, four terabytes. So the size you can get the same drive in different sizes, but um, this is the size I picked out. Uh, it's going to be seventy two hundred RPMs. Um, six gigabits um, that's buffer to host so that six gigabits transfer is just um, that's the the speed that it can you know transfer over SATA 3 so that that's that's from like the the actual um, buffer on the disk to the host but it's still you're still gonna be held back by uh, you know w when your reads ha actually have to uh, you know read something from the platters on the disk your speeds are gonna be as slow as uh, you know 164 megabits so uh, per, per second and um, that's sustained drive to host load so if you're just copying large amounts of data and it's not in the cache that's how slow it's gonna be so it is a slow drive and uh, which is, is you know basically what we're buying it for but um yeah 3.5 inches and a 64 meg cache and it has cmr recording technology so th those are the main features things worth noting um there might be other things but those are the main things to point out um also um worth noting that this is the pro version now if you search for this on amazon you're going to come up with the uh you know the pro version and the non-pro version so if that makes a difference to you um just pay attention to what one you're buying actually and um this specific model is the wd 4003 ffbx so um hopefully that helps somebody if you want to see where you can pick this or any other parts I used in this build up, just check the link in the description. Also, you might want to check out the video of the full build. That link's also going to be in the description, so check that out too. Go ahead and hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss out on our other great videos. We have a lot of great stuff we put out already and we have a lot of stuff coming up soon. So uh, definitely hit the subscribe button and also hit the little bell icon. Otherwise YouTube's not going to alert you when we come out with a new video and you're not going to want to miss these. We put a lot of other great content out. We, this includes hardware, software, networking, servers, coding, electronics, single board computers, 3D printing, robots, and a ton more. Also, leave a comment down below, not just for me, but for the next person who watches this video. If you know something that I don't know, or you have any comments, questions, criticism, whatever you wanna say, just leave the comment down below. Uh, hopefully you found this video useful, or at least interesting. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.